Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Tonight, we're going to be doing something a little bit different because every now and again, YouTube decides to push one of my videos out there a little bit more than other videos and it does seem entirely random as to when and why this happens. I don't know exactly why it happens but one of the videos recently has been the analysis on Sir Paul McCartney where I was explaining that he didn't die <laughs> in 1966 and I was showing this, I mean, the first video was through vocal analysis, looking at some of the early recordings and showing that his voice had exactly the same tendency, same range, all these different things. And the second video was then looking at his bass guitar playing. And I mean, first of all, the fact that he is left handed is unique in of itself, but the way that his bass technique is anchoring onto the body of the guitar, everything was absolutely identical as to how he did it in the early 60s and then late 60s and throughout his career. But because this video has been pushed out there, even more people are getting involved and they're still saying that Paul McCartney died in 1966. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you something that, I mean, I try to explain things as clearly as possible on my channel. And I'm going to be showing you something in this video that if after seeing what you've seen in this video, you still think it's not the same person, then the only explanation is that you're not playing with a full deck. And I, I mean that in the nicest way possible. But if if you still believe what you believe, that it's a different person after this video, then it's nonsensical. So we're going to start with this picture that I was sent uh, back at the time that I made these videos from somebody who stated it's clearly a different person. On the left hand side, we've got original Paul and on the right hand side, we've got Fall. F-A-U-L, fake Paul. And the name of this picture is Paul McCartney is dead. So this is what I've been sent as evidence for somebody trying to prove their case that it's different people from left to right. So I'm going to do a really advanced test on this and place one picture over the other picture to see the obvious difference when you go from one to the next because they are clearly different people. So we've got young Paul here pre-1966 and when we now bring on the other person this is now the other person who as you can see the eyes and everything are in totally different places and it's obviously a totally different person. Now when we go back I mean in this picture here Paul is straight onto the camera, whereas in the other picture, he's slightly turned. So this is why you can see more of his right ear in the picture. But if you're just looking at his eyes, when we go from one to the next, they are absolutely identical with everything about them. The angle where his eyes are, the size of his eyes. Just everything is identical. And, and the only difference really, I'd say, is that he's clearly just younger here because we refer to this in the UK as, as puppy fat uh, of, you know, just being a little bit wider. And obviously this can happen if you put on weight at any age, you'll start to have a slightly wider jaw and more filled out face because you've got a higher fat percentage in your body. So all that's happened here is he's older and He's lost a bit of the weight from his face. And I don't. Th and again, going back to why I'm featuring this, because this has been given to me as proof that it's a different person. And when you lay the pictures over the top of them, you can see it's clearly the same person. And just to touch on some of the other things that people say, like, oh, he suddenly grew two inches or three inches in height and, and, and that kind of thing, where I've already stated in my previous videos depending on how you're standing 
what footwear you've got on, your height can change by two or three inches. It doesn't prove anything. And this is it, that the quantum of proof has has got to be substantial in order to say that one person is not that person anymore. It's another person who's now imitating that same previous person with exactly the same face and being able to sing in exactly the same range, have the same accent, be able to play the bass guitar, being able to play and sing at the same time with exactly the same technique of playing bass and be left handed, throw that all into the into the mix. So, yes, yeah, saying that he's a, a different height, you know, that doesn't prove anything and saying that, oh, somebody shouted out and called him Billy or somebody called him Billy in, in, in the studio or or something like that. When this all happened, the Beatles were getting loads of publicity from it and continue to. <laughs> so it was it depends where you're from. But in the UK, no, nobody's ever really given this any serious thought because they knew it was a bit of fun and that it was a hoax. And I'm sure that the Beatles played up to this and, and Paul would have played up to this and maybe even to the point where because it was so well known, people and friends would call him Billy because it is a bit of a laugh. And that's what you do with with friends and mates. Sometimes they get nicknames and that could well have been one. But anyway, again, that's not proof of anything. But what we're going to be doing now, I mean... It has to be. I consider it absolute proof because we're going to be talking about the physiology here and something that is impossible to change. And, it, and it's never been changed in you know, plastic surgery and everything. I've never heard of a case where the thing we're about to look at has been changed. Now, this is the point at which the video becomes interactive so you guys can join in at home. Because we're going to be taking a look at Paul McCartney's Venus system. And I'm not talking about a planet here. I'm talking about his veins, the, his physiology, the things that are part of him inherently. Just the way that his veins work and transport blood. So you might be thinking, what are you on about? We're going to be taking a look at Paul's left hand. And here we have Paul in the early 60s so this would have been before he died apparently and looking at his left hand you can see how there's a prominent vein that he has that starts in the middle of his hand and it comes down and has quite a dramatic turn up so it's like a u shape and it goes up towards actually his middle finger even though it starts out probably more in line with his little finger and it's just one prominent vein that's got this very unique shape to it and let's have a quick lesson on how blood works and here how you can see the vein because there is blood that is flowing through that vein now if I hold my hand up like this you won't be able to see any veins because there's no blood flowing to the veins because I've got my hand up in the air. And now I'm standing up, obviously, so you guys can look at my hand. And my hand, for some reason, my body has decided that my hands need the most amount of blood ever in the world. So I've got a prominent vein that comes here and it splits off into two here. I've actually got another vein down here that is relatively large I've got another one that comes down here and this is still quite large here so my hand looks nothing like Paul McCartney's hand he's got one that is kind of hooking around here and then curling up towards his finger and my veins look totally different so if you want to see the veins in your left hand just hold it down by your side for a while, make sure that you get some blood flow to it and then you'll start to see the veins and how many you have and the directions and you'll be able to see whether you have one prominent vein that does this. Starts in the middle of your hand, goes down towards your little finger but then curls up towards your middle finger. Now, you might not have this 
But let's just say, for example, you do somehow, for some reason, have this exact same vein going on. Do you have this face? Because we, you've got to pair it all together. So we are going to be taking a look at a couple of other pictures from the early 60s. But what I want to suggest here is that if, say, for example, Paul McCartney did die and they're looking for a replacement, they would be looking for someone who looks the same as him. But there's absolutely no way they would be able to edit that person's venous system the veins that are running through their body. They would just find somebody who looked exactly the same and could do everything to exactly the same level as the person that they're replacing. But their veins would not be the same. That's the kind of detail that, unfortunately, if they said, OK, we've got a guy who looks exactly the same in every single way, but unfortunately, he's got a, a different venous system and his veins are different. There's no way, and I've, I've never heard of this, of surgeons being able to go in and move the veins from your bodies in or your body into different places to now look like the person you're replacing. And if, if somebody is claiming that that is what's happened, then like I said at the beginning of this video, you're not playing with a full deck. But let's move on to the next picture. And here we go. And this is obviously very early on. Uh, we've got Paul playing bass here. And look at this vein that starts in the middle of his left hand and comes down and now loops up towards his middle finger. And it's one prominent vein that we get. So this matches up. And again, this is early 1960s. So it matches up with the other early 1960s. So the final one we'll look at is early 1960s. And you can see that he's got on a, a, a bracelet here. But you can see the vein is just poking out between his shirt and the bracelet. And it comes down and it now curls up towards his middle finger. And where it starts out, pointing, is at his little finger. So these are the same veins, the same person in the early 1960s that we're looking at, undoubtedly. So now let's move on to a picture that is later. And here we go. Now this is from the 1970s. So we're now looking at what would be the imposter, the person who was replaced. Paul McCartney and have a look at this vein on his left hand how it starts in the middle of his hand comes down towards his little finger and curls up towards his middle finger so again there's no explanation for that this this is the same person because this vein is doing exactly the same thing so now let's bring in another picture here it looks like it's around the same period. And here, middle of the hand comes down and curls up towards the middle finger. Let me move on. And oh, and this is this is good because this is another early one, early 1960s. Middle of the hand comes down and curls up towards middle finger. And just to get right up to date, and I assure you that if you were with Sir Paul McCartney and he showed you his hand, I mean, when it's got blood flow to it, you would see the same vein. And here you can't really make it out too clearly because he's got his hand up uh, in the air. So it means that he hasn't got blood circulating to his hand in, in a uniform way as you would have if your hand was below the level of your heart. But anyway, here you can see there's clearly a vein that is starting in the middle of his wrist and it comes down here. And you can see that there's the blue color of a vein going up here, but it doesn't have as much blood flowing through it. But I mean, all you need to do is ask him to show you his hand and he would have the same venous system. So the pictures that I've shown you tonight and this for me rules out absolutely everything else because hopefully you did this experiment at home 
and you've now realised that having this in your hand is so unique that even if you have this same appearance of a vein, you you would then have to have the same face. <laughs> so that it's just too, there are too many variables here for it to even be considered that this could be a different person that has the same venous system in their body and therefore this it's got to be the same DNA that has provided that same vein in that same hand so yeah I thought I'd do this video just because I'm getting so many comments about the previous videos that I've made and I've never mentioned this before but if anybody else uh, sends me messages saying oh I think that he died and that they replaced him, then I can't help you. If you've watched the video that I've just made and you still think that it's not the same person, I, I can't say anything. And th there's no amount of proof that is going to change your mind because your mind is not thinking rationally. There's something wrong that's happening, that the, the information isn't isn't going in or being understood as it should. And unfortunately, there's nothing that I can do about that. That's just something that uh, whoever may be watching this video who still believes that, then there's a fundamental issue with, unfortunately, the way that the brain is working that, that can't take in the information. So it's more of uh, maybe a disability type thing that no matter what, what you present, the disability is going to get in the way of the understanding. We're talking about physiology here. Um, we're not talking about somebody calling out a name or somebody wearing cowboy boots in a photo and then being barefoot. You know, we're not talking about that. We're talking about somebody's actual physiology. So anyway, as well as all the other things that I've pointed out about his bass playing and his voice. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. And it's maybe dangerous to say this, but let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys at the next one. Rock!